guys, so today I want to do a little comparison review for you on three different matte liquid lipsticks. I know that those are totally really on the market all over the place these days, both on the high end side of things and the drugstore field of things. The really like liquid lipsticks that apply like butter and then they dry down to be totally completely matte and transfer proof, kiss proof, all that good stuff. They are so crazy popular these days. I just wanted to tell you a little bit about three of the main ones that I've been using and how they kind of compare to each other. So we're going to be comparing the LA Girl Matte Flat Finish Pigment Glosses. I have a few different shades of those as well as the ColourPop Ultra Matte Lips which are totally popular especially here on YouTube and then we've got the Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipsticks which are on the high end side of things. So you've got LA Girl and ColourPop to represent the drugstore side of things and then we've got Kat Von D which is a little bit more pricey, quite a bit more pricey, let's just be honest. So I have done a complete review here on my YouTube channel of the LA Girl ones. So if you want to see that review, I will leave a link down below. And I do have blog post reviews on each one of these at lanamarie91.blogspot.com. And I always have a link down below to that. I will leave a link for each individual review too, just in case you guys are interested in reading a little bit about them as opposed to hearing me talk a little bit about them. So right off the bat, the LA Girl ones are probably the driest feeling on the lips and they look pretty darn dry on the lips as well. They are definitely not, they don't have like any kind of real moisture to them and they are actually probably the most long lasting out of the bunch. They stay put. You need to scrub and scrub and scrub and scrub in order to get these guys off of your lips. The only downside to the LA Girl ones are the applicator. It's kind of a flat little like paddle kind of deal and it is like all spongy like a tr traditional doe foot applicator but it doesn't have any give to it it's not very flexible and it's also just it's it's just very flat it's kind of difficult to get a nice line around your lips it's kind of hard to work with not impossible to work with you can definitely apply your lipstick with the little applicator that comes with this product but it's just not as nice as the other two. So next we've got the ColourPop ones. These are great. They are totally way popular here on YouTube and they have a wonderful, really crazy colorful selection of colors, which is also really, really great. They're definitely very affordable, but you have to go online to get them. You can't find them in stores. So that can kind of be an issue for some people who don't like to shop online and that sort of thing. These ColourPop ones are kind of in the middle between the LA Girl ones and the Kat Von D as far as how good they feel on your lips. They have a little bit of a moisture to them, but it's still awfully dry. It's not nearly as matte and like really, really dry feeling like the LA Girl ones are, but the Kat Von D ones are quite, I wouldn't say moisturizing, but they feel pretty darn good on the lips. So these ColourPop ones are right in between the two. I like the applicator on these. It's your traditional little doe foot applicator. It's perfect size. It's not too big, not too small. It just works really well on my lips in particular. I hope that it's working well for other people as well. And these have a thinner consistency. The ColourPop ones are more liquidy, whereas the LA Girl ones kind of almost have a whipped kind of texture to them. They're not quite totally whipped, but they're like right in between being a liquid and more of a whipped consistency. So they're a little bit of a thicker kind of consistency of the product, whereas the ColourPop ones is, it's kind of like just like a paint. It's just like liquid paint and it's it just feels like water applying on your lips. They're very, not necessarily runny, but they are very liquidy, not like a big clumpy kind of product like the LA Girl ones can kind of be. I feel like since I've had these for a few months now, they're kind of starting to dry out a little bit. So they do have a little bit of a clumpier consistency. It's nothing too difficult to work with. I never have any kind of issues with them not behaving themselves, but just kind of something that I have noticed after having had them for a few months now. And next we have the Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipsticks. These guys cost about four times as much as either one of the other two that I just told you about. So keep that in mind. They better behave really, really well for that kind of price. They're like 20 bucks a pop. These guys I absolutely love. I really don't think I have a single negative thing to say about them, which I know is just, it kind of, it's sad because they're so pricey. I wish I could buy every single one of them, but that's, that would just be ridiculous. Who's going to spend 20 bucks on, I mean, 10 or 15 different lip products. I can't afford that personally, but I would love to be able to because they are just so wonderful. They're just absolutely great. I love the consistency. They are liquidy like the ColourPop ones. The little doe foot applicator is just wonderful. It's slightly smaller than the ColourPop ones. Let me see if I can show you guys. 
So we have Kat Von D over here and the ColourPop one over here. The Kat Von D one has a little bit more of an angle to it. It's a little bit more precise, but as far as like the thickness of them, the width of them, the ColourPop one is just a little bit bigger. I know it's probably, you probably can't even tell, but they are slightly different. And I just really like the way that the Kat Von D ones apply. They just always seem to work out so great. This darker one here can be a little bit patchy on first application. You need a second coat to go on top of it. But as with the other products here, they don't get funky when you put on a second layer. So they don't start getting clumpy. They don't start peeling or like do anything weird. They all behave very well with second applications, which is great. They all will take a balm on top if you are careful. You can't like smudge a balm like a chapstick or something all over the place and then like really rub your lips together. That kind of doesn't work very well. But if you just dab a little bit of a balm on top, if they're too matte for you or too drying for you, you can get away with adding a little bit of moisture that way with all of them. And they're all long wearing, but I feel like the Kat Von D ones remove a lot more easily than the other two. They last just as long. They're just as great as far as lasting power is concerned, eating and drinking and, and all that good stuff. They will stick around just as well as the others, but when it comes to the end of the night and you're ready to take off your face, these are a little bit easier to take off. I don't know what it is, but they just are. So in all reality, I really do love each one of these liquid lipsticks, but I might have to choose the Kat Von D ones over them all because they're just so nice. There's not a single thing that I could say about them that I don't love. I really do totally enjoy them. I guess the price point would be the negative thing I would have to say about them because 20 bucks a pop is just a little bit ridiculous if you want to gather like a whole collection of a lip product. So let me know what your favorite matte liquid lipstick is. I know a lot of different companies have been coming out with them lately. So let me know if there's any ones that other than these three that are really great that you really love. So let me know down below. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to check out my blog for more reviews on these little guys and tons of other stuff. There will always be links down below. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will talk to you next time. Bye-bye.